the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Tonight, I will not be talking on the Kingdom series. We still have one or two topics to cover under the kingdom series hallelujah we'll still be talking about the culture of the kingdom and then we'll end it with um, what theologians call help me sound people eschatology hallelujah eschatology is the study of the end times hallelujah it gives us a panorama of the whole activities that surround the end time the bible says how that john was speaking he said i was i john was in the spirit on the lord's day and he was caught up and he began to see several things and he was given an instruction he said right the things that were the things that are and the things that will happen thereafter hallelujah and he began to write a letter to the seven churches across asia minor which are it's a prophetic symbolism of the entire span of the church age hallelujah and then in chapter 4 he said i heard a voice and he said unto me come up hither and i will show you the things that will happen thereafter and then we read about the vials and the plagues and the manifestation of the angels hallelujah then we begin to study about several things what people call the tribulation how that the kings of gog and magog according to the revelation that was given to daniel he had a figure standing made of clay made of bronze and made of steel you know all of these things were representing the dispensation of different kings hallelujah we we'll take our time to discuss what these prophetic things mean because if all we know is how to reign in life alone without knowing the future of the church then we have all men most miserable hallelujah we need to understand the future of the church age and then we study how that the bible says there was 30 minutes in heaven we we'll also try to um, answer the question of um, the pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation or post-tribulation manifestation. Hallelujah. The concept of rapture. Is there an event in the Bible called rapture? Hallelujah. And then we'll get to talk about what will happen, the millennial reign of Christ and how that Satan through the instrumentality of the Antichrist will be let loose and will deceive many and torture believers the bible gives us an understanding of a mark and um, an activity of satan upon people and he called it the number he coded it and he called it 666 what is the concept of 666 what's the mystery behind 666 hallelujah and is the antichrist alive right now who is the antichrist what is his government like hallelujah we we'll begin to trace the government of the antichrist from cain and then we'll consider the mystery of babel the tower of babel and then we'll come to babylon and egypt and we'll run a a line beginning to help us understand the structure of the antichrist government hallelujah and then we'll discuss about the two witnesses hallelujah people say it's moses and elijah is that true or not we'll find out when we are discussing that statement then the destruction of babylon the Bible begins to speak about Babylon, talks about a harlot who sits upon a horse holding wine that was the cup of the Matthias. Hallelujah. Then there was a shout and he said, Babylon the great is falling. Her and all the kings of the earth who have made merchandise and have benefited from a harlot tree. Then the Bible tells us about four horses and certain people that were seated on those horses. And the Bible tells us that death was one of the spirits that was sitting upon the horse i'll be proving to you that hell is not just a location hell is a spirit hallelujah death is a spirit the bible says how that death hell and the grave will be defeated and will be cast into the lake of fire 
we see the difference between hellfire and the lake of fire hallelujah and then when satan is bound the thousand year the millennial reign of christ what does that mean to the church then the last battle of armageddon when all the kings of the east who set themselves against god's israel hallelujah and then revelations 19 begins to give us a picture of one upon a white horse hallelujah how that a double-edged sword will proceed from his mouth and will cause a great slaughter then the bible ends with what we call the great white throne judgment hallelujah what is the difference between what we call judgment day and the great white throne judgment because the bible makes us to understand that there are two kinds of judgments and then the eternal destiny of the saints hallelujah this will be um i hope that we'll consider that the next time but for now we're not going to be taking that teaching i want to just help us understand the scripture that god laid in my heart and then we'll pray hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our god some days ago the lord showed me a vision and um I saw a stream flowing and as the stream was flowing it began to separate itself into different channels and I saw how that there were different treasures in the channels and people were running to one and then to another running to one and to another and I just stood watching hallelujah and then I found out that other people were some of the um, they were like fruits from one of the stream. I don't know. I've never seen a stream delivering fruits. Hallelujah. But then some people will eat it and will enjoy certain levels of divine health. But I found out that they were not happy. They were not joyful. And then I saw others who will drink from a stream and then they'll just begin to laugh. Laugh in the spirit. Hallelujah. And then I had a loud voice. And he said unto me, all the streams are necessary. And that was all. All the streams are necessary. Hallelujah. And then I began to ponder on this scripture. Because when God speaks to me, if I don't understand, I just keep quiet. Hallelujah. And then God began to teach me something about the operation of the spirit. And how that lots of believers have not been able to experience the fullness of the activity of the spirit in their life because we do not understand how to place a demand on his multifaceted dimensions and that's what i'm going to be teaching tonight hallelujah so let your heart be open because this teaching is very prophetic tonight and i trust that we'll pray as i teach there will be all kinds of impartations just coming the spirit of wisdom and revelation hallelujah let's start with um isaiah isaiah 11 isaiah 11 Please make sure you came with something to write. If you didn't, just find your neighbor. I told you that we teach the word here. So when you come, come with something to write. Lord, let your word come with power. Let it come with grace. In the name of Jesus. I sense that there is an operation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. There is a strong operation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. A strong operation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. A strong operation of the spirit of wisdom. And revelation. Paul said, For this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and understanding. He said, The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, flooded with light, that you will see. Cause our eyes to see, O God. It takes the Spirit of God to grant us illumination into the world. For the Bible says when Jesus rose up from the dead, there were two men who were walking with him on their way to Emmaus. 
although he was the miracle worker the savior the one who was the talk of the town they were with him but they could not recognize because their eyes were closed and the bible says when he sat at table with them and break the bread then their eyes were opened every time there is the breaking of the bread there is a release of the spirit of revelation causing our eyes to see things that the ordinary man cannot see job said there is a part where the eyes of the vulture has not seen and a road where the lion has not trodden upon and that's our desire to press into those realms that will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night say amen, amen. isaiah 11 verse 1 and there shall come forth a rod please can you increase the volume and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots he said the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord and it shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears hallelujah the bible in isaiah chapter 11 gives us what we call in the church environment the manifestation of or the seven spirits of god hallelujah now when we talk about the seven spirits of god we are not talking about seven different spirits hallelujah we are talking about the complete manifestation of the spirit for the number seven in the realm of the spirit is a prophetic number for perfection and wholeness and completion hallelujah he used seven days to create man in the seventh day god rested hallelujah so the number seven stands for perfection and completion the seventh angel in revelation chapter 11 verse 15 sounded his trumpet and there were voices saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ and he shall reign. So seven symbolizes the number of perfection. Seven lampstands, seven candlesticks. Hallelujah. Seven prophetic manifestations of the spirit. And so the Bible here tells us that the spirit of the Lord. What is the spirit of the Lord? The spirit of the Lord stands for the word Lord there. Is, it, it refers to the spirit of dominion. Are you following me now? The Spirit of the Lord talks about that dimension of the Holy Spirit that postures your spirit in a way and a manner that you begin to manifest in the power and the authority of the kingdom. That's the dimension of the Holy Spirit that causes the Word of God to come alive in you and you begin to function in a dimension of authority called exousia. The capacity to stand and legislate on behalf of the Parliament of Heaven hallelujah there is an operation of the spirit that is quickened and furnished in your person that causes you to comprehend the word of god brings you to a position where you begin to understand your rights and your privileges in christ are you following me now and you begin to see that he has given me authority over snakes and scorpions is the manifestation of that spirit that causes that dimension of the world to be quickened in you so that you can stand and decree and declare the bible says that ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established hallelujah daniel 11 chapter uh, chapter 11 verse 32 says they that know their god he said they shall be strong and they shall do exploits so there is a manifestation of that spirit it's called the spirit of the lord the spirit of dominion the oppression of the Holy Ghost that causes you to walk in tremendous realms of authority and power. And there are many believers who have had access and they can stand and legislate on behalf of heaven. Hallelujah. And they look at a door and command that door to be closed and the door is opened. And then they can look at a situation and command it, effort her, be opened and is opened commanding authority over territories and nations they can stand and legislate on behalf of continents and territories and speak over africa and say be opened there is a an operation of the holy spirit that brings you to that level 
he shows you by his word and he empowers you to walk in the reality of that word hallelujah then the spirit of wisdom and of understanding the bible says in the book of proverbs it said but not wisdom cry hallelujah it personifies wisdom it said get wisdom get understanding hallelujah the spirit of wisdom that is another activity of the holy ghost that he begins to furnish in your person he brings you to a level where you begin to comprehend the ways of god the wisdom of god is his word his ways he teaches you how to walk in the ways and the path of god he said thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path and so there is an activity of the holy ghost that causes the word of god to begin to guide you you begin to make intelligent decisions after the character of the kingdom hallelujah wisdom is to know what to do understanding is to know how to do it the steps to take wisdom is to know what to do hallelujah but understanding tells you how to do it and that's why the bible says in all thy getting even if you come to a point where you know what to do you need to know how to do it hallelujah wisdom is to know that you make fried rice by bringing rice and bringing what again all of those things tomatoes liver and so on and so forth understanding is to know how to combine the ingredients are you following me now so you can have wisdom enough to go to the market understanding tells you that when only one person is eating you don't put a handful of salt are you following me now wisdom tells you salt is required to make the food tasty but understanding begins to guide you through the processes and the steps he said in all thy getting get understanding so there is the activity of the holy ghost that brings you to a point where you know god's ways and you understand how to take steps and get that result it's an operation of the holy spirit and then there is the spirit of the of counsel and might the spirit of counsel and my Paul prayed a prayer he said I pray that you be strengthened in your inner man that's the operation of the spirit of might he brings you to a point where you walk in tremendous strength and ability grace and stamina for the journey are you following me now physical and spiritual strength that was a dimension of the Holy Ghost that was at work in Samson I hope you know that Samson was not a macho man otherwise Delilah would not be asking him for the secret of his strength there was an activity an operation of the spirit of might upon him I'm sure he was like me hallelujah so don't take us for granted there is an activity of the Holy Ghost <laughs> I understand how God created me that's why I don't look for trouble I prefer to speak the word <laughs> hallelujah the spirit of counsel the Bible says you shall hear a voice from behind saying to you this is the way Isaiah 30 walk ye in it the counsel of the spirit David said in the I mean I'm um, um, Daniel he said in the night time in the night time when men sleep then the spirit of God begins to communicate the counsel of And then there is the spirit of knowledge the word knowledge there is not just the word is the word epignosis the highest dimension of knowledge hallelujah it's not knowledge that is as a result of experience it's knowledge that is an impartation from the spirit knowledge that is beyond your age beyond your level of exposure beyond your intellect it's a dimension of knowledge hallelujah that's the manifestation of the Holy Spirit that causes what we call the word of knowledge. When you walk up to someone and say your name is this and that, I know you from this and that, you do not have any personal I mean, you, any personal relationship with the person, hallelujah. But by the operation of that spirit, you can comprehend certain things. Hallelujah. That was the spirit that was at work in Daniel that made him ten times better hallelujah 
and then he says the spirit and of the fear of the Lord that word in Hebrew or that phrase in Hebrew is Yirat Adonai the spirit of reverence doesn't talk about fear in our sense of fear but the spirit of reverence there is an activity of the Holy Spirit that comes upon you that causes you to revere him so after singing I am a friend of God I am a friend of God you know you come to a point where you think you begin to rub shoulders with God and then the spirit of reverence comes upon you Isaiah had that manifestation from chapter 1 he began to prophesy and then in chapter 6 he said in the year that King Uzziah died I Isaiah saw the Lord he was high and lifted up he said the train of his robe filled the temple there was an impartation of the spirit of reverence hallelujah and that's one manifestation that many people in the church age do not have that's the reason why people can bribe and cheat in church people can do all kinds of things and you wonder do these people really fear God why don't you say do these people really have knowledge fear God the spirit of reverence coming to a point where you don't just believe in God you respect him hallelujah now let me tell you something when you get born again and the spirit of God comes understand this the Holy Spirit comes upon you but I want you to know that these manifestations are not experienced automatically this is where my message starts tonight are you following me now as you begin to walk in the spirit the Holy Ghost causes you to see the dimensions of the Holy Spirit that are available to be accessed in his word are you following me now every time you study the word you begin to see certain dimensions of the spirit hallelujah and for every time you see the Holy Ghost begins to put a hunger for the dimension that he wants you to operate are you following me now so as you begin to study suddenly you find out that there is something about the operation of him being the spirit of reverence and as you begin to place a demand in the spirit by praying and by staying in his presence you give him access to begin to reveal that dimension of him in you are you following me now so many believers think the moment you have the spirit you have these sevenfold manifestations no the holy spirit comes upon you but wait for your hunger to place a demand on the dimension of him that you would want him to show you there are several dimensions of him as revealed in scripture and it is the dimension that you place a demand on in the realm of the spirit that you see him revealed to you hallelujah the bible makes us to understand in exodus chapter 31 the bible says when moses received the blueprint of the tabernacle from the mountain the bible says there was a dimension of the holy spirit that came upon an ordinary man called bezalel hallelujah he said i have anointed bezalel and there was an operation of the holy spirit that imparted creativity supernatural insight and creativity in bezalel so that he would build the house according to pattern for he was instructed upon the mount that he would have to build the house according to pattern hallelujah and all the descriptions were given by god meticulously and he needed someone with an unusual operation of the spirit and then the spirit of god came upon bezalel hallelujah so there are several dimensions i hope you know that the holy spirit is god say after me the holy spirit is god many people reduce him to an archangel many people reduce him to a wind or a pentecostal phenomenon no the holy spirit is god he's as vast as god is and so for you to experience his fullness in your life you must search through the world and find out every time the holy spirit operated through a man he didn't operate all his dimensions through one man so when you study through the lives of several people the patriarchs of old one of the things that their lives reveal to us is the dimensions of the holy spirit that can be available I follow me now so that we will follow them who through faith and patience we will begin to place a demand and say holy ghost you operated a strange dimension through a man there was a dimension of wisdom that solomon walked in 
what is that dimension there was a dimension of the prophetic that david walked in that although he was in the old testament he was able to access realities of the new testament for instance it was david who said the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool that was the activity of the coronation of jesus according to philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 11 hallelujah how did david see these things in psalm 100 he said something he said enter his gates with thanksgiving how did david know that the courts of god had gates he said i'm into his courts with praises the prophet began to speak in isaiah he said i will give you a garment of praise how did he know that praise was a garment in the realm of the spirit he said i will give you a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that you will be called oaks of righteousness the planting of our lord so all of these people through when you study scripture you see the operation of the holy spirit through several people even in the prophetic there were different dimensions of his operation you find out that paul was an apostle peter was an apostle all of these people had unique manifestations of the holy spirit now when you study these things the holy ghost begins to quicken in you the dimensions of him that he wants you to experience and through your hunger and pressing you can begin to place a demand and say spirit of the living god i desire to encounter you as the spirit of creativity and suddenly you begin to see him reveal that operation of himself in you are you following me now this is a powerful revelation that's what the lord was showing me there were different streams the bible says in isaiah in ezekiel chapter 47 how that from the east side of the temple there was a river that began to flow from the temple hallelujah and the bible says that he measured a thousand cubits and he was to my feet and then he measured a thousand cubits and he was to the knees he measured a thousand cubits he was to his chest he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river and he said wherever that river went it caused all the fishes that were dead to come alive these were the operations of the spirit the bible also tells us in the book of genesis chapter 2 how that there was a river that came out from the east of eden and it parted itself into four dimensions hallelujah these are the manifestations and the operations of the spirit but when we just sit down and feel that all to the holy ghost is praying in tongues no we we need to begin to place a demand on several dimensions of him that will be required to accomplish the tasks that are before us for there is no man who can do anything outside of the spirit of god the bible makes us to understand that a supernatural grace for leadership and administration came upon a man called joseph and he was able to administrate and save a nation from famine these are all the operations of the spirit that are available to us hallelujah that's the reason why you can find someone working in kingdom authority making decrees but making absolutely foolish decisions because we have crippled the operation of the holy spirit by stereotyping him to only the spirit of dominion hallelujah and then we have others who will not walk in dominion but will walk in great wisdom and in understanding we must experience the fullness of the spirit by searching our lives to see the dimensions of him that we have not allowed to begin to find expression and to begin to place a prophetic demand on those dimensions a jimmy shared a scripture some days ago and i've been meditating on that scripture hallelujah a great servant of god with an awesome teaching grace and he began to share how that do you know that the first manifestation of the holy spirit in the bible was not as one who will call sons into glory but as the spirit of creativity the first manifestation of the holy ghost in the bible the first manifestation of the word in the bible was not for healing it was for creativity the first manifestation of the father in the bible was for creativity isn't that amazing that gives us a picture of god's original desire for us because at that time man had not fallen man had not even been created all the other functions of the holy spirit had to evolve 
as a result of the needs and the fall of man if man never fell we will never know God as Savior I hope you know that so the fall of man although it was bad but it gave us an opportunity to see the vastness and the multifaceted dimension that exists in this deity called God so in him is the creator in him is the savior in him is the redeemer in him is wisdom in him is understanding and that's why he told Moses I am that I am when you begin to experience all of these multifaceted dimensions of the Holy Spirit it brings you to a point where you become a true worshiper because then you understand that he is big then you can sing that song you are bigger than what we say 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 you are bigger than what we say say you cannot call him big if all you have experienced is just the spirit of dominion until you taste all taste and see that the lord is good place a demand on every dimension and of the operation of the spirit that you have not seen at work in your life and I've been praying this scripture. I said, Lord, manifest in me as a spirit of creativity. The Bible talks about men coming up with witty inventions as a result of the operation of the spirit. You know what? This teaching helps you so that whenever you are taking your journey through life, you will know what dimensions of the Holy Spirit are responsible for commanding certain breakthroughs. When you need to make a wise decision, you don't need him to manifest as the spirit of the Lord. You need him to manifest as the spirit of counsel and might. And the Lord showed me in the vision these streams parting and he told me all of them are necessary. In other words, you short circuit your spiritual progress and the height to which you can attain in the spirit when you limit the Holy Ghost to just one person or one dimension hallelujah he is also called the spirit of prayer and intercession there is an operation there is a dimension of him that supplies grace grace to stay in the place of prayer so that you don't pray for five minutes and just believe that you are finished praying there is an activity of the spirit that's why the psalmist said quicken us and we will call upon your name grant us strength there is an operation of the holy spirit that grants you grace to stay in the journey that's what the bible calls the spirit of might that when you are riding against the trend all kinds of persecution there is an operation that grants you the staying grace he said though he slay me yet will i praise him Job's wife said, curse God and die. And he said, why do you talk like one of these stupid women? An activity of the Holy Spirit that gives you stamina through the storm. And men look at you riding through something that is killing others. And like Job, you said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. And men look at you and say, what kind of strength are you standing with? What operation of the Spirit is making you stand when you should compromise? There is an energy. It comes from the Greek word energes. To energize. To supply with power. An activity of the Spirit. Because as you begin to rise, there are all kinds of things that happen to you. That was the operation that was at work in people like Stephen when they were about to martyr him in spite of all of that persecution he looked at them and said forgive them the only one that prayed the same prayer that Jesus prayed and although they were stoning him there was a staying grace the Bible says his face lit like that of an angel and Stephen full of the Holy Ghost many believers are not able to stand through harsh situations because we have not placed a demand on that dimension of the Holy Spirit that supplies grace in that area of need hmm. so people just look at you and say ah Ejimi, Ejimi is not a real man of God 
most he doesn't he's not ordinary forget about all these things you are seeing and then you begin to cry and say god i will not do again oh no. nah you need to pray and place a demand on that dimension of the holy spirit that gives you strength for the journey and then the voice of god will come lo i am with you always it is a always it's a always hallelujah it's my desire that we experience the fullness of the person of the holy spirit that we come to a point where we can tap into his multifaceted dimensions and then we begin to rule and reign and when you are hard pressed like paul you say we have been pressed and then they see you smiling through a storm that should kill people you know what dimension of the spirit to operate when people begin to persecute you on account of righteousness you begin to pray and say thank you there is strength in my inner man i am energized by the spirit when your parents look at you and say i'm sure you'll be a failure you are a stupid person they call you they say idiot where is he humanly speaking it has the tendency to demoralize your psychology but not when the spirit of might is at work in you you will smile through something that should demoralize you and you see it as a challenge and you say it got not yet appear what we shall be like i will sing all the mercies of the lord the saints of old made themselves guinea pigs to reveal to our generation the dimensions of the holy spirit that are available but can i tell you something there are other dimensions that they have not seen that our generation will open up to the body there are certain dimensions of the spirit that have not yet been experienced even by the patriarchs that's the reason why we must stay sensitive because times will come when we will see certain operations of the spirit that we if we are not careful we will not agree with because it does not meet our traditional and our religious regimens stephen revealed i mean um philip revealed something about the spirit the bible says how that the spirit transported him that's an operation of the holy spirit that our generation at a time will place a demand on hmm. everything you see scattered in scripture and that the holy there are certain things that the holy ghost begins to incubate in your spirit and at first you will be afraid because you cannot find a scripture to back it but as you study and as you progress in your work with the spirit you begin to find out that although you may not see it yet it is consistent with the universal character of god these are archives and all some of them are futuristic the church may not begin to work in them corporately but a time will come when god will compel you to begin to place a demand i hope you know that every dimension of the holy spirit was first opened by somebody hallelujah And so the Holy Spirit is telling us that we have been underutilizing his person. We have been underutilizing his ability. Our concept of his manifestation in our lives has been reduced to just miracles and tongues. But there is more to this person called the Holy Spirit. Our paracletos, our standby, advocate, strengthener. He said that which I speak to you in the secret, declare thou on the mountaintop hallelujah that's why the saints of old respected him so much god is calling us to a point where we realize that there are infinite dimensions for access in the spirit and there are certain things we will never accomplish until we understand that the holy spirit can operate in these dimensions there are several people and ministries that are suffering today because they do not know that the help they need can be accessed in a dimension of the holy spirit if they make a demand on that dimension hallelujah 
and so I choose to open up myself to every dimension that is available in this person that dimension of him that will supply the staying grace for the journey for many of you who are in ministry or desire to be in ministry you need the staying grace of the spirit that dimension of his person because sometimes you will need to stand alone but the spirit of might will empower you you come to a point where you are energized by the workings of his spirit empowered by grace and an anointing that you yourself cannot explain hallelujah and you will run there is an operation of the holy spirit that will grant you speed in life if you if you don't place a demand you will lag and suffer in life the bible makes us to understand that when elijah told us he says saddle your ass and run for i hear the sound of the abundance of rain and then he went back he was delayed but the bible makes us to understand that the hand of the lord came upon elijah every time you hear the hand of the lord that's the operation of the spirit and it caused elijah strength and grace came upon elijah and then Elijah began to run. How many of you have seen people under the anointing and they do things with such speed that you know they cannot do humanly? Many of us cannot see beyond the manifestations that this is an operation of the Holy Spirit that is available when we place a demand. That's why I said the hand of Zerubbabel. That's if that operation of the Holy Spirit is at work, you will start a project and finish it with a dimension of speed that you cannot explain whether a building project whatever it is i tell you the truth these are some of the dimensions that god has shown us by grace and we have put it to work and the results are even getting us scared because we realize that these are the riches that's why the bible says in him dwells all fullness and you can begin to tap into different dimensions of that fullness hallelujah and it's our job to bring you tonight to that understanding that the fact that you are filled with the holy spirit hear me is no guarantee that things will you will automatically begin to experience these dimensions of him that's why we call koinonia a place of intimacy and what partnership there must be a participation in the spirit so could it be that this teaching tonight is revealing to you the answer to your prayers and saying lord how come i'm not just creative and the lord the holy spirit is saying i am available if you will beckon on this dimension of me i will cause you to come up with things that will amaze you hallelujah there is a dimension of the holy ghost that comes upon you and causes you to walk in divine help it doesn't just happen just because you are confessing the word the bible makes us to understand that if that same spirit that raised jesus hold on there is a revelation hallelujah there is, why did he use raising jesus from the dead paul prayed a prayer that you comprehend the kind of power and energy that was exerted when the christ was raised from the dead and he said if that same spirit that can cause a decaying body hallelujah a decaying body by all biological standards in an instant breathe life and quicken that body to come alive if that same spirit that means if that same operation of the holy spirit is permitted to be activated in your life then that same spirit will cause a quickening if you want to do ministry you had better know the holy spirit as a quickening spirit otherwise you collapse on the stage and die one day that's why sometimes you see us walk and wonder where is this energy coming from there is a supernatural operation of the spirit for it is not by power it is not by might it's by my spirit right after this meeting we are going for a vigil stretching through till the morning and we have other activities what gives us this confidence all through
too i don't know any of us that have slept today we have been walking since morning hallelujah but we can take advantage of this supply of his dimension and we can say spirit of god although my flesh is weak i trust your enabling grace he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings you're the whole holy ghost seal of the age to come you're changing everything in obedience to Christ that was the activity of the Holy Spirit that brought the miracle to our brother God's servant hallelujah brought a quickening when you tap into the dimension of the spirit things are not working well in your family there's, there's no point sitting down to say whatever will be will be oh god said we think about demons we think about satan we discuss about them rather than searching from the world what dimension of the holy ghost and the best way is to find out in the bible where did they face my kind of problem how did the solution come it revealed an operation of the spirit that i can tap into for jesus is the same yesterday today and forever if a dimension was accessed in him that dimension is still available unto us there were men who were in famine what dimension of the spirit did they access that granted them authority to say by this time tomorrow people are crying and ranting of recession and i tell you there is a supply of the spirit that can bring you to a point of freedom what did jacob do by the well that caused animals to look at black wood and begin to mate and their children come with the thought of what kind of technology what manifestation of the spirit was supplied at that point what dimension of the holy ghost was quickened in david that brought him to a point where god could call him his friend that's why the word of god is there for us it's not for you to cram scriptures so that you can get a nice message it's for you to begin to search search out in the spirit and when you find it you hold on to it and say lord i have found the dimension of the holy ghost that will create a supply for the situation that is killing me and that's why the bible says the entrance of thy word give it light You hear us shout every time the word the word because as you stay with the word there is a brooding of the spirit he knows what dimension of you that he needs that's why sometimes when you are studying the bible he tells you okay get up and begin to pray and you're praying in tongues and scriptures are coming jeremiah 17 verse 9 you're writing you're praying he's showing you what supply of his person will bring you the miracle you need when you find it you will command authority let me tell you when you find it you have found it the anointing from that scripture will come upon your life has no respect for your age has no respect for your gender there is a dimension of the spirit that moves solomon to offer a sacrifice that compels something about god the bible says solomon offered a thousand bond offerings do you know what one thousand bond offerings are it's not ordinary you can be in a situation and you are dying of it and the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might will just come and breathe upon you and he will tell you go to the bible and you find out where certain operations of the spirit were done and you say now go and sow this seed to so 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 person and watch the wonder working power of god you are not just sowing seeds you are responding to an operation of the spirit are you understanding what i'm teaching it's the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might for every operation in the kingdom 
it takes a supply of the spirit hear me friends is vain to attempt to do anything in the kingdom without the holy ghost he is the lifeline the one who connects us with victory in the spirit that's why we totally depend on his person imagine if we had to use our intellect how much do we know in ourselves but for the supply of the spirit brings a dimension of wisdom a dimension of grace a dimension of power a dimension of favor a dimension of glory and beauty and honor and dominion and authority and access how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind there's power at work in you changing everything that's what god is doing tonight in obedience to christ he's changing everything it's vain to try to do god's things without understanding how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind it's power at work in me changing everything in obedience to christ Shapa kapa kariya, changing everything. Hey, no BS in Christ. You're the Holy Ghost. You're the Holy Ghost. Spirit of the Living God. You're the Holy Ghost. Center of the King of Kings. Hey, you're the Holy. Power at work in you, aging, shaking everything. For the Holy Ghost, God, I will Let's 
footsteps, revelations, insights, scriptures. Come on, get angry in your spirit. Lord, we place it in my hand. Holy Spirit, we place it in my hand. We do it willingly. We do it willingly. The nations will know that we fear the Lord. The nations will know from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. His banner will rise in our midst. There is a shout of the king in the midst of his people, and he will be exalted. The emergence of champions. Men who understand the ways of God. Men who understand the the operation of the spirit. Come on, you are praying. You are praying. You are praying. You came tonight for serious business. Enough is enough with that sickness, that terminal disease. Come into the spirit of resurrection. The operation of the spirit of resurrection. Come on, pray. Enough of demonic oppression. Enough. Every supply is in the person of the Holy Ghost. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. The blessing. I will never be the same. I came tonight for my destiny. I came tonight for my life. I didn't come to preach. I came to bless every man. I came to bless every man. Let the nations know that your God is alive. Let the nations know that your God is alive. Stop tolerating things. Change them. Place a demand on the operation of the spirit that will command that level of victory. Enough is enough. You came tonight for Koinonia. God is upgrading your life. You will never be the same. So when we walk these ways, we can't just be access. We are the victorious generation. Tell me, we are rising. I'm telling you, you are rising. You are changing. You are changing. You are not the same. You are changing. You are changing. By the Holy Ghost, you are changing. You are changing. I like you to see it in the spirit. You are changing. You are not the same. You are not the same. There is a release of the spirit. There is a supply. This teaching has granted you access to begin to operate. Oh, you're my God. 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 Oh, you're my God.
from Lagos and he said the Lord told me to tell you that the economy of this land 
the economy of this land will literally be handled by the members of ENI. I don't have any ministry by us. It's a word that came from my friend in Lagos. But this is how we praise up. This is how we praise up. So we are going to pray. You are going to pray and say, everything that is not of God, we take it away. Command increase. Command victory. Come on, go ahead and pray. Greater miracles. Greater transformation. The word of God is being taught. We are not derailed. In the name of Jesus. We cast arrogance. We cast fear. We are rising. Hey! By the Spirit, by the Spirit, the supply of the Spirit, pray for the ministers, pray for the heads of the party, by the Spirit, greater grace, greater prosperity, greater power, greater miracles, direction from the Spirit, the enabling grace, in the name of Jesus. For Satan and the power of darkness, we remain a threat to the kingdom of darkness. We remain a threat to the kingdom of darkness. We remain a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Ever increasing glory, ever increasing grace, ever increasing power, ever increasing wisdom. We hear the voice of the Lord. We hear the voice of the Lord. By the word, we live by the word. We live by the word. We teach only the word, and the Lord confirms His word with signs and wonders. Pray for the department, the media department, the ocean department, the protocol department, to tell us a function. We are replicating the fullness of God's life. The fullness of God's life. The fullness of His grace. Pray for the worship team. The presence of God will never depart from this place. This place we call the tabernacle of the Lord. A solution center for every kind of challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to specially pray over our finances and that of our family members. Are you listening to me? It's our goal in this place that the least person here will be empowered so that we don't talk about money. We do other things. Are you following me? There are other very important things in the kingdom. It's amazing. Every church you go to, they are talking about money. Money, money, money. Satan is distracting us with our needs and we forget our assignments. But we are going to pray. We are going to say, not this place. There is a shout of a king. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Command increase. Prophesy. Speak over your family. Many of our families are suffering. Come on, pray. Enough is enough. We place a demand. That spirit that was upon Isaac, that made him so in the land where there was famine. That spirit that was upon Solomon, that made him the richest man. That spirit that was upon Job, that made him the richest man in the east. Enough is enough. This is the wealthy place. According to Psalm 66, verse 12, thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We went through fire, but thou hast brought us into our wealthy place. Thou hast brought us into our wealthy place. Pray Psalm 66, verse 12. Pray Psalm 66, verse 12. Thou hast brought us into our wealthy place, the land of plenty. We have enough to feed the poor. We have enough to do the works of the kingdom. We refuse to beg for money. We refuse to be in need. The Lord is 
our shepherd. We are not in one. The Lord is our shepherd. He is our bread provider. Oh earth, we speak unto you. Job said as from the earth, out of it comes bread. We command the goodness of this land to flow to us. The goodness of the land. Because we are willing and we are obedient. We eat the food of the land. We eat the food of the land. Favor from the north. Favor from the south. Favor from the east. Favor from the west. Favor. 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 By the Spirit. Favor. By the mercy of God. Favor. By the grace of God. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. Overtaking you. Overtaking you. More than enough. More than enough for our past project. More than enough for everything we need to do. More than enough. More than enough. We are stepping into abundance. The kingdom advances in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. You're going to pray and prophesy to yourself. Hallelujah. This is what I hear in the spirit. The Lord is saying, tell them to prophesy. That is your season of light. The Bible says, in your light, we see light. Hallelujah. He said they looked up to him and their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed. For when there is light, there is no stumbling. When there is light, there is precision. There is accuracy. It's a time of light. Light. Go ahead and pray. I'm rising. Prophesy. I'm rising in the light of God. The light of His glory. The light of His countenance. The light of His power. I arise in light. I prophesy in light. I teach in light. I minister in light. I reign in light. I run in light. I fly in light. God is that light. His word is that light. In your light, I see light. In your light, I see light. Hey! I move in light. I grow in light. Hallelujah. Let me friends. You will be amazed to see the kind of transformations that are happening to you. You cannot be the same, no. You will begin to reign as a citizen of the kingdom. You will command victory that will scare you. Why? Because you are aligning yourself to the lifestyle and the operation of heaven. For when we know his ways and we can hear his voice and we are diligent to obey, he will set us above. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. It says, it shall come to pass in that day that when you hearken to the voice of the Lord to do all that I have commanded you this day he said that I will set you on high and this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you it's a new season Psalm 66 verse 12 thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we pass through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place We will walk in an avalanche of miracles, impossible miracles. They are only beginning it's by the supply of the Spirit. When men ask you and say, what in the world is happening to you? You tell them it's by the Spirit. 
I believe in the ministry of the Holy Spirit. He can change a man. He can change a people. And it's his presence that is at work in this place. So we thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your help. Indeed, you have been a help unto us. We depend totally on you. We depend absolutely on you. Without you, we can do nothing. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. She. Hallelujah. She. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay across this road. Go, 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 Hallelujah. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I hear the chains the chains falling she take a papa tapa tapa let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I need the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! brother in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you i'm seeing this I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. 
Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil. Right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I've not seen a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is, but as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please, because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free in the name of Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of marital delay. Leave those people now. 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 Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect and protect. Hey, 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost Every other witchcraft that has tied families, we release you right now. Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf. There is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if it's if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family 
I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I prophesy on everybody. Whatever the devil has tied. Take the destiny of any family. That has been tied. Be released now. 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 Every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft, go be released now. Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit, you can't stand it. You will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire. Like wild fire, it will come upon you. Please let me have the ladies. Like wild fire, it will turn you. You will be running. It will happen to you. You will be running around. You will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure treasure or something precious who is that like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother She's at home where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barregete bregete boksha Ni baso paria kabaria doste ke parakata Ibra tose paliata bako se gede ne bregedea 
I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out. Out. Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. we plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people. And then maybe we can have a chair or something. Whatever it is. Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer oh, cases, whatever it is, genotype, Lord, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. 
Lord, we thank you. His presence. Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am Lord. I am the Lord. The healing is here. His presence is here to heal. To heal. Son of man, can this bone? Hallelujah. I want you to know whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. Make sure you go back and begin to check yourself. God is healing people. Come and see in the presence of Lord. Be healed. Hold on, please. Hold on. Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years. Brothers and sisters, 30 years arthritis. Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself. Easy myself. The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. 
this is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Is that it's having pile? You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too, you are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah. 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 You've done, You've done for, for me, me. what no one else will do. Say, may you love Jehovah. Daddy, there is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile! Go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. Come. At this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at look at look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no pain. Completely. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I'm the, the Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the, the devil. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. 
he's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself I cannot stand up by myself like that before all right sit down and try it again sit down and try it again you know he couldn't stand up but help him help him sit down try to stand up now look at this help him oh hallelujah it never returns again in the name of jesus whoever is responsible for any evil he will reap what he has sown be blessed in the name of jesus give jesus praise let's hurry up when God. jesus say yes nobody can say no when jesus say nobody can say no when jesus say yes nobody can say no hey when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? one has been removed and the other one is not healthy one has been removed the other one is not healthy ah son of man can these bones be begun? hallelujah i wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child i don't know if she's here this fair lady she's not here I wish she were here, she would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That one. Is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. Please, kind God, oh, I never see in kind, oh, this kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake headache. Can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed 
or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all i know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs where it will come that is not my responsibility are you getting my point now the child is in it. something will leave you now this is this is demonic let this woman go now i command that you get pregnant give birth to miracle children we create new wounds right now in the name of jesus christ it is done you will return with your miracle children i will attend to everybody now it will be very very fast so that we can save time worship him please My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Ya ro na na ya je Israel. Ya je Israel zin. She she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja. So say so ke fi ya leading ya in south south. Say ya edo guda hudu sun je sun du keshi. So ke chire shi de ke fourth floor. Sun yet the shakasa. So kakarba put ya wo jenshi. Tun di zeba fourteen. Yena pama a Israel. Shine yasa na che. Ama ina eke enzu. Hari enzu. Ama enzu. Loka chinde ya fadi. Anche baza yi bongena ba. Baza yi rubutu ba. Baza yi te fia ba. Ogasi ya che tu. Achi gaba de truth in dishi. Ya yi adua alla ya gya mechi. Za yi te fia. Za yi mongena. Za yi rubutu. Na yeso yenzungi na rubutu yena magana amakofa di le bifara tefiaba. Father, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost, kabala toza tabaranda galibata zidelembrash kubrande kalabati la kabras te brandi zatabala mande kebres kela tosko bari galaba. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Pochechet. Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write. Your eyes will see. Your feet will walk. Every broken bone. We mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his affairs sometimes go. Your back. Come and get the kafa. Hurry and as well. Add the kafa. They call it sending kashi abi. Now, sir. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. How, sir? Baju. Anyone? Pray English. I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you when you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they are saying, just be just with them. Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. 
I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I'm
Hallelujah. Please, Osha, start collecting the prayer requests very quickly. Start collecting the prayer requests very quickly.
is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles in the name of Jesus Christ be made whole in Jesus name you will not fall they are supporting you please don't be afraid just follow me come don't be afraid don't be afraid just look at me look at me look at me sir look at me now come come just come just come 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them. That is. Walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah, it's breaking, it's breaking, yeah. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, pray in tongues. Shele braka to na man mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 boko so para ya la 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 boko so para ya la 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 boko so Rata tapa ya rapa la brana la bana 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 Lord, your grace 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord Bacos y perioto, shimile gambron, siki parodo, sile branda, carabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, our Father, God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call but please we mean business this is very very serious god bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for me tonight i make you my lord and savior i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i declare that i begin to make progress in my life i submit to the authority of jesus i denounce sin and satan from today i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep the hands lifted up father thank you these hands are lifted unto you they will never be put down in the name of jesus let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of jesus christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of jesus christ we celebrate you, we love you, we honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They will have your details and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy hallelujah praise the lord this is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny hallelujah lord we give you praise right now in the name that is above all names i pray every door that has been closed over anyone's life every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now every terminal disease in your body i command that it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now hallelujah the bible says and esther found favor before the king and the king said what shall i do to you even up to half of my kingdom i pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny help us share the word of the lord I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the Bible says, listen, the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south. God can take a man from a dunk hill and place him above. Even if you are not working, you can stand for your loved ones. I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives, whoever is due for promotion, and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook chariot there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water I command supply right now by the favor of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be supplies. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore there must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names i command restoration of all the years the ganka worm has eaten and the palmer worm let there be restoration now hallelujah hallelujah the Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the Bible says, as for me and my house, I've prayed for you, now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost please lift your hands just I just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the Spirit all kinds of gifts of the Spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointing take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life i command it to come back alive now go and heal the sick go and cast out devils i call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven go and represent the value system of heaven go and be a light change people's situations speak over their lives Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray, pray for your destiny.
Salaska de Pascana Catabranda Catacos, Catabranda Catapacotosco to break a take and the The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline. 